So hey guys, uh, just got off the water here on the beautiful Angler Quest Pro Troll 24, my favorite boat. Uh, and uh, the fishing report here from Saginaw Bay early summer is this, is that the spoon bite and the fast crankbait bite are going very, very well. Today we utilize Trip Z's, a Dreamweaver diver, as well as Dreamweaver mini spoons, and as well as the offshore planer board system. And we put those three components together and had an awesome day with Brad Dupuy from Angler Quest. And uh, you know, the, the report is that once this bite starts basically, it goes all the way through. Now you may have to vary and go to, one day the spoons will work better, some days crawlers work better, some days flicker sheds or flicker minnows work better. The reality of it is, is once this, once the bite starts in early June typically, now that we're here to summertime, that bite will stay consistent. It's basically just moving around and staying with the fish. Now the fish scatter all over this bay. You could be fishing out of Caseville one day, you could be fishing out of the mouth of the river, you could be fishing out of here in Linwood, up by Standish, over by our gray. It really doesn't matter. The bay holds fish year round, and it's really just about you finding the right area and the right presentation to make your day successful. Today we fished out of the Angler Quest Pro Troll 24. Now this is the boat I personally film all of my shows out of when I'm in an Angler Quest. I love this boat. It's equipped, this boat particularly today was equipped with Garmin Force Trolling Motor, Garmin Console Graph, the Reactor 40 uh, autopilot system. And to be honest, that is the exact way you want to equip these boats. A 12 inch screen graph gives you great readability from anywhere in the boat when you're looking at the console. The force trolling motor in spot lock circumstances gives you great boat control. And of course today, as you saw, we used the Reactor 40 autopilot as it was only Brad and I fishing. And we had times where we had doubles on and we were negotiating with setting and, and resetting lines and netting fish. And the Reactor 40 was just like an extra person in the boat keeping us directly on course. So if you're looking at or considering a boat, as you saw with me laid back in the front of the boat earlier in the show, this is a boat that really, really is a fisherman friendly boat and also doubles as an awesome family machine. It's the Great Lakes Bay region is one of Michigan's premier fisheries. And whenever you're looking for a great weekend away, you almost gotta consider the Great Lakes Bay region and Saginaw Bay. You know, the fishing here is extremely consistent. That's what makes Saginaw Bay so good. Walleye is one of the top fish as far as desirability for eating. And so a lot of people, of course, want to come here and experience the great walleye fishing. And one of the other things that we touched on during our show, but I'm going to bring up here today, is the short, the, the bag limit here of eight fish. It makes your trip here really worthwhile. If you and your wife and a son or a daughter want to come here and fish for a day, you can legally keep 24 walleyes. That's right, eight fish a day and those fish begin their size limit at 13 inches, which makes for a lot of fish that in other systems you would have to throw fish back, not here at Saginaw Bay. Those are legal fish. So when it comes to maximizing your experience here in the greater Great Lakes Bay region and fishing here on Saginaw Bay, there may be, may be no better investment for a weekend spent on the water than right here in Saginaw Bay and the Great Lakes Bay region.